Hello friends, welcome to Hunt Electronics and this is your friend Shakib with a new technical topic that is a selection criteria of microcontroller or in other way we can say that what are the step to select the microcontroller for your project. So the microcontroller is a heart of your project. So one should know what, which is the best microcontroller and what are the various steps uh, should we follow to select the microcontroller so there are 10 different steps which uh, should be followed for a selection of a microcontroller so the first one one should know the application of the microcontroller second the best suited architecture third one should know the bit size of the microcontroller fourth which type of networking you are going to use in the project fifth what will be the operating voltage of the microcontroller Six, the number of I.O. pin required for your project. Seven, the size and the package of the microcontroller. Eight, what will be the memory size of the microcontroller. Nine, what will be the total power consumption. And the last, at what end you are going to get a support from a various website for the microcontroller. So my dear friends, these are the 10 steps which one should follow to select the microcontroller. Let us see each step in the details. So as I told you, the first one, the most important is the application of the microcontroller. The first thing that one should do before choosing any microcontroller for a project on an embedded system is to acquire a deep knowledge of the application for which the microcontroller based solution is required. Next one should have the understanding the particular feature that the microcontroller will be used for in a project next make the list of all the external interface the microcontroller which needs to be supported or going to be controlled and the single unit of microcontroller should support support all the devices which will be utilized to perform the task involved in many decimal number and if you will be able to understand how the microcontroller will be utilized in your project, then you will be certainly make the right decision. So the next one is the architecture. The term microcontroller architecture means how the microcontroller is designed internally. So the generally there are two major architecture that are utilized in designing of the microcontroller. One is Neumann architecture and another is a hardware architecture. So the Neumann architecture make the use of a sample process to transmit the data and collect the set of instruction from the memory. Thus the trans uh, data transfer and instruction collection cannot be done at the same time. So generally they are scheduled. So that is somewhat the complication in this architecture. The next is a Harvard architecture which is used which uses a separate route for a transmission and a collection of an information. So it has got a dedicated part. So it is somewhat easy. So the Harvard architecture is based on a reduced instruction set system. Thus they can carry out a better instruction with a lower cycle as compared to the complex instruction set that is CICS system on which the Newman architecture is used. So as per the requirement you can go for any one of this architecture. The third which is most important that is a bit size of the microcontroller. So there are many bit size available in the market uh, market uh, for a uh, <coughs> different uh, microcontroller over here so the microcontroller comes in the different uh, bit size that can be either 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit or a 64 bit uh, and at present i think that is 64 bit is the maximum bit size possessed by any of the microcontroller the 8-bit microcontroller uh, denotes the every instruction address or a variable in a 8-bit one of the main indication of the bit size is the memory capacity of the microcontroller. For example, 
the 8 bit microcontroller will have a 255 unique uh, memory location while a 32 bit microcontroller will consist of 4294967295 unique location so it is very essential to choose a microcontroller with a bit size that meets the data to be processed so as shown in the figure you can see there are different and the choosing the right microcontroller with the right bit size is very important the next is as we discussed it is a networking so the bit is very important where you are going to interface a different sensors actuators you are going to communicate with the cloud so which type of the communication it depends upon the networking so the communication among the microcontroller sensors actuator that will be used for the project might need the use of a network between the microcontroller and the communication for example to connect the analog sensor to the microcontroller should have the enough adc or you can say a dac also the change of a dc motor might need a pwm of an interface so there are various networking interface like i square c uart pwm adc spi usb so as per the requirement you should select the microcontroller for which type of networking you are going to use for communication purpose next that is the operating voltage so the operating voltage means the voltage level at which the system is built to operate the operating voltage at a time decide the logic level at which the microcontroller will communicate to make up the entire system so below you can see there are different types of a level over here between 2 to 5 is considered as in a high or 0 0.8 to 0 is considered as low the another which except the ttl gate that is 0 to 0 0.4 as a low and 2.7 to 5 as a high so depending upon that currently the 5 volt and 3.3 volt voltage are the most admired operating voltage for the microcontroller and your decision should be based on this voltage level the most important that is the number of io pins the the number of io or a general purpose pins present in the microcontroller is the most important factor that will surely influence your the choice of the microcontroller if a microcontroller possesses all the features that we have mentioned but does not require does not have the required io then you can't use that microcontroller one of the most important thing that one should a designer should decide that the number of ios which they are going to use at present and the number of io should be kept uh, in a spare for a future implementation if they want to improve uh, the advanced feature if they are going to add some advanced or going to modify some of the project input output in the feature so it should not happen that uh, at present you have selected a microcontroller based on a, a number of input and output and in future if you want to add some more a more additional feature to the system and the ios are not sufficient so one should the designer should always think ahead of the time the next which is most important is the memory so there are various kind of memory associated with microcontroller like uh, ram rom aprom the memory of the microcontroller holds the firmware of the microcontroller the data memory is utilized during the runtime and all available data generates because of the processing among the other activities during the runtime and are stored in the data memory thus on the basis of the complexity of the competition uh, competition and the occur during the runtime can be used to determine the amount of memory needed for the microcontroller and the next is the package size so this is very much important uh, one of the parameter that is a package size that means the form factor of the microcontroller so while designing the actual pcb uh, the designer should think of the which size or package so depending upon that the area required on the pcb is very important so generally the microcontroller comes in the package that varies from qfp tsof soic sop and the regular dip package which makes the arrangement on the breadboard very easy so depending upon the size of the pcp how you are going to arrange on the 
uh, PCB board according to that you should select the package therefore it is a crucial plan to weigh ahead of the time about which package will be the best suited so below in the picture you can see there are different packages the shape and size the same microcontroller with the same IOs with the same memory are available in the market the next which is very important that is the power consumption of the microcontroller this can be the crucial factor for the most when selecting a microcontroller especially if you are going to make a project which will be operating on a battery so there are the various applications which nowadays you are developing in day to day life which are like a iot device which are wireless which will be the battery operated so the power consumption is very important make sure that the microcontroller are using a uh, satisfying the power requirement of your project so there are various model manufacturers which are developing a microcontroller with a different range of you know, voltage operating like from 1.8 to 5.5 there are different like a texas silicon atmel nxp etc and you can see the current rating of uh, uh, in uh, active mode in the standby mode so there are different so especially when you are designing the uh, uh, like uh, nowadays we are de developing a new AV vehicles bikes and these which are operating on the battery so you should get a more and more battery backup for the system that's why we should select a microcontroller uh, on the basis of an a power system you know so power consumption is very important power fact uh, power factor now sorry very important a power factor which uh, should be considered while designing and the last but not the best uh, list uh, that is a microcontroller support the microcontroller you choose to work with should have the enough supports like a code sample a reference design and if possible the huge online community suppose if you are using a new microcontroller of an, any new manufacturer but it does not have any supporting code or reference this is going to make a headache for you impossible uh, in the future so if you are working with a microcontroller first time then you can face a very difficulties and challenge uh, using the resource can help you to overcome them very easily so there are very online communities or there many uh, sample codes are there which you can uh, just uh, download and utilize and modify for your project your microcontroller should have a good ulation kit okay so uh, for each microcontroller which you are going to select it should have a good development kit over there where you can uh, very easily practice and get familiar with that tool change and a development process of the microcontroller and later on you can design your own pcb depending upon it most microcontroller have a number of choice of a compiler example codes and debugging tools and it is the most important to make sure that all the necessary tools are available for the parts without the right tool the development process could not be uh, easy or it can be a difficult and expensive in the future so my dear friend that's all for today uh, and for the more technical session like this please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel named as hunt electronics thank you